Welcome to the world of 1962's Dr. No, where the iconic James Bond makes his big screen debut. This spy thriller introduces us to the suave and fearless Agent Zin 7, played by Sean Connery. The plot revolves around Bond's mission to investigate the mysterious disappearance of a fellow My 6 agent in Jamaica. The film doesn't just deliver espionage, it's a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad moments. Now, as you reflect on this classic, which role stood out as your favorite? Was it Bond himself, the cunning villain, or perhaps someone else? Amidst the intrigue, there's likely a scene or moment that left a lasting impact on you. Was it the introduction of the Bond theme music, the memorable encounter with Ursula Andress emerging from the sea, or a suspenseful confrontation with Dr. No? As you reminisce about your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this film, we'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Keep watching, as we've got many more interesting facts to uncover about this cinematic gem. Get ready for a journey through the world of Dr. No and share your thoughts. Your engagement makes this cinematic exploration all the more thrilling. And remember, there are more surprises ahead. In 1962, the spy thriller Dr. No marked the debut of James Bond on the big screen. Sean Connery portrayed the suave and fearless Agent 7, setting the stage for a character that became a lasting cultural icon. The movie centered around Bond's mission to uncover the mysterious disappearance of a fellow My 6 agent in Jamaica, delivers espionage, and takes audiences on a roller coaster ride of funny, shocking, and poignant moments. The introduction of the iconic Bond theme music by Monty Norman is noteworthy, instantly becoming synonymous with the suave spy. It contributes significantly to the film's atmosphere, leaving a lasting impression on popular culture. This musical motif has become a symbol of intrigue and sophistication. Ursula Andress emerging from the sea in a bikini remains a celebrated cinematic moment, captivating audiences in 1962 and continuing to be a referenced cultural touchstone. The film seamlessly blends suspenseful confrontations with Dr. No and memorable moments of allure, showcasing its varied storytelling. The film's influence extends beyond the silver screen. The character of James Bond introduced in Dr. No has evolved into a cultural phenomenon, revisited and reinterpreted over the years. This influence is evident in the countless Bond movies that followed and in the broader entertainment landscape. The film's ability to balance action, intrigue, and iconic moments has cemented its place as a timeless classic, emphasizing the enduring appeal of James Bond's character and the world he inhabits. In retrospect, Dr. No not only laid the groundwork for a cinematic franchise, but also shaped modern spy films. Its impact is felt in the ongoing fascination with the James Bond franchise, captivating new generations. The suave spy, his thrilling adventures, and the legacy of the movie continue to captivate audiences, making this cinematic gem an integral part of cultural history. Amid the creation of the 1962 film Dr. No, a fascinating array of behind-the-scenes stories and bloopers unfolded, adding an extra layer of interest to the James Bond debut. One noteworthy incident involves Sean Connery, the suave Agent 07. During a particularly intense scene, he couldn't hold back his laughter, leading to unexpected mirth on set. The director decided to keep this candid moment, recognizing its authenticity, and it eventually became a subtle yet treasured blooper in the final cut. The introduction of the Bond theme music, composed by Monty Norman, wasn't without its own set of challenges. The melody we all associate with James Bond almost didn't make it into the film. Initially, the producers weren't entirely convinced about its suitability. However, Norman's persistence and the gradual acceptance of the tune by the crew led to its inclusion, marking the birth of a musical motif now linked with espionage and sophistication. Ursula Andress's emergence from the sea in that unforgettable bikini scene had its share of amusing anecdotes. The water in Jamaica proved to be quite chilly, and Andress, the epitome of grace, struggled to maintain composure during takes. The crew, witnessing her dedication, admired her commitment to creating a cinematic moment that would be remembered for decades. In the face of unforeseen challenges, there was a moment when the film's tropical setting clashed with the realities of nature. A scene featuring an outdoor dinner was disrupted by uncooperative wildlife. Mosquitoes and other insects interrupted the actors, leading to an impromptu battle against nature during the shoot. It's a testament to the cast's professionalism that they seamlessly incorporated these unexpected hurdles into the final product. As the cameras rolled on Dr. No, the suave spies on screen charisma masked a real-life hiccup. 
Sean Connery's penchant for accidentally misplacing his iconic Walther PPK pistol became a running joke on set. The crew affectionately dubbed it the Zer 7 Hive and Seek as they often found themselves on a search mission before each shoot. Connery's good-natured response to this recurring incident endeared him to the cast and crew, creating a light-hearted atmosphere during production. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable nature of creating a cinematic masterpiece. The imperfections and genuine moments of laughter, along with the cast's commitment, contribute to the charm of Dr. No, reminding us that even in the world of espionage, a touch of humanity adds an extra layer of interest. In the world of the 1962 spy thriller, Dr. No stands out as a unique Bond film. With the shortest title among all Bond movies, it's a quick introduction to Agent Zun 7. Sean Connery first appears on the screen around the eight-minute mark, starting his portrayal of the smooth and fearless James Bond. An interesting behind-the-scenes fact involves Dolores Keeter, who got the role of Strangway's secretary because she owned the house where the crew was filming. This practical decision turned out to be a lucky casting choice, combining real-world logistics with on-screen storytelling. While filming in the tropical setting of Jamaica, there were unexpected challenges. During an outdoor dinner scene, uncooperative wildlife like mosquitoes and insects interrupted the actors. The cast handled it professionally, incorporating these challenges into the final product and adding a touch of authenticity to the film. Talking about authenticity, Sean Connery's on-screen charm hit a real-life hiccup. He kept misplacing the iconic Walther PPK pistol, turning it into a recurring joke on set called So7 Hide and Seek. The crew found humor in searching for the misplaced prop before each shoot. Connery's good-natured response created a light atmosphere on the set, showing the camaraderie among the cast and crew. In this movie-making world where practical considerations influence casting choices and unexpected challenges become part of the story, Dr. No stands as an example of the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable nature of creating a timeless classic. It's a place where behind-the-scenes stories and genuine moments seamlessly blend with on-screen intrigue, crafting a cinematic gem that continues to captivate audiences. In 1962, the cinematic debut of James Bond, Dr. No, reveals a captivating mix of inspiration and connections beyond the silver screen. In Anthony Horowitz's novel Russian Roulette, a character strategically places a hair across a door crack as a warning signal echoing Bond's homage in Jamaica. Horowitz, later exploring Bond's world with Trigger Mortys, seamlessly blends original material with Ian Fleming's legacy, earning praise for revitalizing Bond's essence. Metro's acclaim for Trigger Morty's mirrors its earlier mention in Russian Roulette, highlighting Horowitz's consistent storytelling skill. Nicky van der Zyl's dubbing work in Dr. No and From Russia with Love adds an intriguing layer to the film. Her voice becomes the unseen force behind the characters, subtly shaping their expressions and dialogues. This behind-the-scenes choice showcases the collaborative efforts shaping the cinematic experience, emphasizing the significance of every contribution, visible or not. Contrary to popular belief, Bond's memorable introduction, Bond, James Bond, is not his first line. The initial words spoken reflect his charm and gallantry, I admire your courage, miss. The deliberate revelation of his identity adds an extra layer of mystery, setting the tone for the suave spy's enigmatic character. As we delve deeper into the movie, the interconnected web of influences and creative choices emerges. The character Scorpia in Horowitz's Alex Ryder series, resembling SPECT, amplifies the theme of formidable criminal organizations. A scene featuring a black widow spider on a character's shoulder, reminiscent of a moment in Russian Roulette, underscores the seamless thread connecting various elements across different narratives. The intricate network of connections extends to the world of dubbing, character choices, and memorable lines. Nikki van der Zyl's contribution as the unseen voice enriches the characters, illustrating the collaborative efforts shaping the cinematic tapestry. Bond's first words, carefully chosen and delivered, capture his charismatic allure, setting the stage for the espionage thriller that unfolds. In conclusion, Dr. No, beyond being a cinematic gem, acts as a nexus of creative inspiration, connecting literature, dubbing, and storytelling choices. It continues to captivate audiences not just for on-screen charm, but also for the threads that weave together a timeless narrative. Bond's world extends beyond the frames, leaving a lasting impression on the broader cultural landscape.